y'all my name is jasmine jones i'm a licensed clinical social worker and you are now watching black girl therapist in the wild and this is a little series i like to call therapist sips and reviews and today we are reviewing <laughs> we are reviewing lovecraft country episode 10 season one full circle it's the finale you guys and i am sipping on cranberry juice today <laughs> just because I didn't feel like drinking and it's still daytime and I still have work to do so mm. <laughs> um so I don't know some of y'all might be mad at me about this but this episode disappointed me highly you know I had to really think through how I wanted to review this <laughs> I read some articles just to get a little bit of background explanation of what they were trying to do with this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I don't agree with how it was executed I mean I'm assuming he dies in the book so spoiler alert he dies <laughs> I'm gonna say if you watch a review you're expecting to hear spoilers so he dies <laughs> but I just feel like maybe it's just the way they did it I don't know because all of this shit just looks like it could have been avoided I just feel like in my spirit that this was unnecessary and stupid <laughs> so let's just get into it you know but I'll just like to say that I am highly disappointed y'all <laughs> anyway so we start this episode off with them rushing in um uh, D into the house they have the book they're about to do the spell to unbind it um she's turned into almost a full bopsy topsy girl and uh, you know they get her on the bed they do the spell to unbind it as soon as they do the spell Letty and Tick pass out on the floor they rush over to him Montrose and Hippolyta are trying to figure out what's wrong with Letty and Tick Letty and Tick are in the ancestral plane so apparently Hannah the ancestor that originally stole the book created this plane when she first opened the book and it is for her and her ancestors and um Letty goes and meets Tick's grandmother Tick goes and meets Hannah and Hannah is telling him that when she first came to this plane she thought it was hell and you know she didn't know what it was and so she binded all of her ancestors blood so nobody with magic could find them and that's what the birthmark was and all this other stuff and then letty's grandma or tick's grandmother's teaching letty the language and telling letty that tick has to die and you are going to carry on our name with tick's baby and all this other stuff and tick is learning that he has to you know be the the carrier of freedom and all this other shit and sacrifice for his family and stuff so tick ends up meeting his mom as well and she he tells his mom that he doesn't want to die he lays his head on her lap so we're getting this whole like jesus vibe <laughs> where he's supposed to sacrifice himself for everybody so that everybody can can live and all this other shit but what his mom said just pissed me off <laughs> i was like so she was just like this is what family means and you know me Montrose and George my soul was just attached to them and I could never leave them and he just like I was attached to them you are attached to this family and you have to make a sacrifice and that's what families do and I'm just sitting there like that sure does sound like codependency when you're in an abusive relationship <laughs> that sure does sound like a trauma bond just because y'all went through the same shit and then one of them niggas beat your ass on a regular basis and now you're telling your son whose ass also got beat by one of them niggas on a regular basis that now not only did you have to endure Montrose beating you now you have to sacrifice and die for this family and I'm just kind of like y'all have a whole book of spells to do whatever the fuck you want with this bitch Christina has a couple pages that she's trying to to, to get immortality with. I'm confused why y'all need to involve Christina at all. Why y'all need to even, I would have put a whole boundary around the house. I would have studied the book up and down. And then I would have figured out a spell to just do what they did at the end anyways. Why does he have to follow the path of trauma that y'all set up? <laughs> So that he has to die on top of everything else so his child could live and then Montrose can get a second chance to be a better father with his child and I'm just like y'all want me y'all want me to just y'all want me to just be like oh it's beautiful and togetherness and black people and suffering you know what 
them motherfuckers on Supernatural never die. They they die. They come back to life. They be they. One of them became the whole devil and came back to life. Why do black people gotta like? Why does this have to be our path to magic? Is that we have to die and suffer and trauma and all sorts of shit? I hope there's a season two and I hope they bring him back to life. <laughs> Cause I feel like that was stupid. I feel like for what? Like there, I was thinking of so many ways that they could do this. I mean, they could set a boundary around the house and study the book and find a different spell to, you know, you know, do what they did at the end. They could, you know, I mean, even in, even in the, um, what's that movie? The craft. When they bound that girl, <laughs> when they bound Feruza Balk, they didn't have to do all of this. They didn't have to, you know, I think they needed a piece of her hair. And the thing is, is just like, why couldn't the thing, another thing they could have did is just the thing could have just been have Ruby get a piece of her shit and bring it to the, to the shop. And they could have did the spell there by themselves. You know, y'all want me, y'all want me to, to just fall for this trap of black struggle and trauma just because it's wrapped up nicely in sci-fi and this is bullshit so anyways they tell them that they come out of d or they heal d within the the ancestor realm they suck all the stuff out of her and except for her arm is are is rot rotten is dead she has a dead arm and uh, they come back and now they have to figure out how to get a piece of uh, Christina and get a piece of Titus for their spell that they're going to do that Tick's ancestor found. I'm just like, you didn't read the rest of the book? I saw them saying, like, you found that one spell? You didn't read the rest of There's a whole book that... <laughs> I mean, I like the spell. I think it's a good spell, but we could have executed this much better. We could have executed this spell. <laughs> so uh, they end up um, going to, or uh, so Tick tells Montrose that he's not gonna die because of the spell and all this other stuff. So the, they end up, Tick, Montrose, and Letty end up going to beneath the Natural History Museum um, through the elevator, back through the tunnels and stuff like that, back through the portal to the Natural History Museum in Boston. They do the, they do the circle, they do the spell, they call down Titus and they call down Hannah and basically they're trying to get a piece of Titus chest meat basically and Titus gets away for a second and he goes and, and is in front of Christina talking about those niggers got the book and da, da 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 and then he disappears again and then they were able to cut off a piece of his chest meat with the help of Hannah and Tick's grandmother and then they send Tick's grandmother and Hannah away and <laughs> you know I just feel like all of these extras all of these extras just to do a fucking spell and family you know, family and, and struggle and sacrifice. Bitch, where? Bitch, you were in an abusive relationship and there's you were trauma bonded to some man and his brother because of all the shit that y'all went through and, and now you're telling your son to die. And that this is the only way. Bitch, I would have set, set up camp in that fucking garage with everybody else and studied that book day and night and wouldn't let Christina in until I knew that book from front to back. And I would have been able to do that spell without having to do all of these extras where my child has to die. That was the only spell that you found in that book. Whole book. This bitch has a couple pages. So they do the spell, they bring Titus back, they cut off his piece of his chest meat, and then they make a plan to meet Christina on the day of, you know, the equinox, the autumnal equinox. Before that, Christina shows up at the garage. She knows they have the book. She goes up to um, uh, Tig and she's just like, well, if you give me the book, I'll figure out another way to do my spell that doesn't involve you. Bitch, she was even trying to figure out another way to do the spell. So if she was trying to figure out another way to do the spell, why couldn't y'all figure out another way to do the spell? You didn't have to give her the book. You could have still said no. You could have put a boundary up around the house and all this other shit. And, and the white people were trying to make it even easier for y'all. See, this is why. <laughs> I just feel like this is a mess. 
because I maybe they were just trying to stick to the book and he dies at the end of the book and they were trying to stick to it because that's how the book goes and if they took that part out people would have talked shit you know and it would have been a problem and all this other stuff but I just feel like that shit is stupid anyways they tell her no Christina leaves and then you know throughout this show Hippolyta and D are, are trying to reconcile D's mad at her um because she left her there and all this other stuff and Hippolyta's just like I know you're mad at me but look I I, I drew you an Arithia blue I became I went and became Arithia blue and I can take you with me and and I can figure out how to fix your arm so that you can draw again and and you know all this other shit so she gives D a mechanical arm and then I mean that, that that's the only part that I liked about it, and what D did with that motherfucking arm, that's the only part that I liked about this fucking episode, all of this shit was messy and stupid, I'm sorry, y'all can be mad at me all you want, but I'm not doing shit for nobody to hit me in the face, and hit my son in the face a bunch of times, fuck that shit, I would have been like, so, so, what you do, is you take the book, and you study the book, and you put a boundary around the house and you don't come out that bitch till you know this book and then you do the spell because she couldn't have done the spell without tick so it doesn't matter like why do you have to why did you have to you know honor your promise to her she fucking kills ruby so she kills ruby because basically letty tries to give ruby this whole talk about family while they're at their mother's cemetery and now she knows what family is and family sacrifices shit for each other and all this other stuff and ruby's just like no this is not family this is just what you've been doing this is you know you've been sacrificed you've been asking me for stuff and that's the only th reason why you want my help and want to be around me is when you ask me for stuff and i guess letty tells her that um apparently christina takes the the seal off of letty after they tell her no for the book so she walks out and takes the protection seal off of letty so i'm guessing ruby told her that so ruby goes back and tries to steal the potion for christina um because it's mixed with her blood and hair and whatever the fuck and she tries to steal it and gets her ass caught and then christina i don't know if she's in a coma or if she kills her i think she's just in a coma because she said william was in a coma she didn't say he was dead so um it didn't work though so my thing is is like all of this stuff could have been avoided see i'm a, i'm a part of the easy street corporation if we can do this in an easier way then why not and then even when he was in the in the in the um ancestral plane he was just like well isn't there another way and she and the the mom was like no this is the only way to no bitch you have a book you have a book <laughs> you have a book a whole book of shit why do you why i mean okay so 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 was it because no and they didn't say this i don't think but could the spell letty had only work on the autumnal equinox like what is it like i don't understand then wait a year and do it again <laughs> like keep christina at bay wait a year and do it again like like why you gotta why you gotta like be honorable to this white bitch that's trash i don't understand like you didn't even have to go there she needed his blood she needed y'all y'all don't need her <laughs> but anyway so uh, they they do the whole spell they get titus um uh, ruby tries to get the blood and shit from the from the thing and she appears to show up when they're leaving for ardham and they all get in the car and they do this happy foreshadowing shit that reminds me of midsummer sumner what is it midsummer where everything is happy and great and they're singing this song and they're all happy in the car but it's foreshadowing because you know somebody's gonna die every time there's some extra happy part before the, the 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 conflict you know somebody's gonna die and shit so i was just like this is scary this is making me feel sick inside to know they're all in this car happy singing along to this song and they're about to die um somebody's about to die so they get there and letty and ruby are in the tower and hippolyta and montrose are on the bridge and they're doing their spell and all this other stuff and then letty finds out that ruby isn't ruby that is christina and she either killed ruby or ruby's in a coma or whatever the fuck and so letty and, and ruby christina start fighting 
And then uh, Ruby knocks Letty over the edge of the tower and she's on the ground and we think she's dead. Um, uh, Tick is tied up by the white villagers on this board. And, uh, you know, Montrose and uh, Hippolyta get caught on the bridge by the white vi villagers. So the blood was never christina so they you know it was just pointless it was a whole pointless thing because i'm just like if that's her potion if he drinks her potion shouldn't he turn into because that's what the potion's for that's all i'm saying i'm just whatever anyways so uh, then christina comes up to the platform where tick is and she's carrying a knife she's wearing this white bride's dress i don't know um <laughs> and tick sees that his plan failed and that um, oh, and what's gonna call it? Gia's there too. So, so Tig apologized earlier in the show. Tig apologizes to Gia, but I just felt like that was some bullshit apology. I was just like, so you're apologizing now when you need her. You're calling her family when you need her. You're saying what you had together was real when you need her. Okay. Oh, if that's some fuck boy shit I have ever fucking seen. He was so sincere about it. I was just sitting there like you you treated her like shit. <laughs> and now that you need her, all of a sudden that fear and trauma has just left the building and you feel bad and okay so Gia's there and she feels like she's a part of a family which I mean they let her join the little troop they let her join the troop and they let her be a part of it and they let her help with the spells and all the things so anyways they're up on the platform so she was on the bridge with Hippolyte and Montro so they got caught they pulled them up Tick sees that they pulled them up and he's like where's Letty where's Letty and then he, he looks at Christina Christina doesn't say shit so that means that Letty's dead and he starts crying and shit because he thinks Letty's dead and then and then uh, Christina goes up and slashes the fuck out of why do you need that much blood like when they did the whole thing with opening the door to Eden and shit they didn't need to slice and dice him open like that like you couldn't have just like took they got, did they have syringes back in the motherfucking <laughs> y'all could have just took some blood you needed that much you needed that much like she stood there under his arm and bathed in his blood and i was just like you couldn't have just took a syringe and, and just put it in a cup and da, 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 da. so he basically died from bleeding to death um <laughs> which didn't have to none of this shit had to happen Y'all want me. Y'all want me to, to just be like, this is beautiful and black and blackity black. No, this is black trauma. This is an excuse to, to, to put black trauma in sci-fi and put some messy ass story around it and say, oh, well, you know, you know, family and we have to sacrifice. No, if I can find the easiest way out to make sure everybody survives, that's what I'm going to fucking do. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> We will go into hiding and study this book from top to bottom and be very learned in magic before we do any fucking thing because you didn't have to show up to that shit. You didn't have to be there. You want me. You want me. This ending was trash. I'm sorry. This was a trash ending. He's trying to make it okay that his mom was abused and then she's telling her son who was also abused that now he has to die for these fucking people. Like when you have a whole book and this bitch over here has a few pages like you could have just spent some time and snuck and got a piece of her fucking hair she walking around with that long ass blonde hair if you took a, a little fucking a micro uh, a, a looking glass on the floor where she walked she probably shed some hair on the floor it's it's not that complicated y'all knew she you needed some hair from her y'all could have snatched some snatched some hair off her head when she walked in there asking for the book her uh, hair sheds <laughs> So many people that I've had around me with straight hair like that, that it gets everywhere. I've brought some home and I've looked at myself and I'm like, where are this long brown hair? This isn't mine. <laughs> y'all don't want to make it. Y'all want to make it complicated. Y'all want to make it complicated. So Letty's not dead. She comes up behind Christina as she's bathing in the blood of of a tick and the essence is coming all out on her and all this other stuff and then 
by the time she's done, like, cause, cause, cause Letty wants to take time to look tick in the eye and be like, I love you and shit. Fuck that shit. I'll stab that bitch immediately. But she took her time. And by the time she stabbed the bitch in the back, the bitch had already sucked up the essence. And then Letty starts speaking her spell that she needed to. So basically she speaks her spell and then it, Christina's like, it's not going to work. The spell is already done. Blah, 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 blah. And then here comes G. A. And so G. A. comes up and uses her eye tentacles to connect Tick to, to, um, uh, to Christina. And we see like Christina looking at Ruby on the bed. We see that Christina gave, uh, uh, Letty her seal back her protection spell before she hit the ground. We see that Tick gave a letter for Montrose to, um, uh, Hippolyta before they went out. We see that, uh, uh, what's her name? D petting the, the the mole rat monster i guess uh which mccauley gave it to her and shit and and you know made it attach itself to her and all this other shit um and then uh, the spell it explodes and it happens so letty spell works and we come back and christina is covered in rubble giant bricks from the building that burnt down and shit like that and she's just looking around she doesn't know what to do she doesn't understand why when she says a spell nothing happens so apparently christina our uh, lady binded the magic of all the white people in the world and so now only black people can use magic <laughs> And I'm just like, that's great. That's wonderful. Yay. So he's supposed to be like the Jesus character. And he's supposed to like save the black folks and give them magic. And white people can't have magic. And that's wonderful. But it could have happened differently. Y'all could have did that different. He didn't have to die. He did not have to die. That's stupid. That's like, okay, so this traumatized child has to then die for his family. He doesn't get to enjoy his life untraumatized. He doesn't get to, like, have a decent, happy life and see his child raised and all this other shit. I hope they study that book and find a way to bring him back to life because that's stupid. That was dumb. I'm sorry. Y'all can be mad at me if you want to. Shit. Y'all can be mad at me if you want to. I don't care. That was stupid. Y'all know it was stupid. No. 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 And then the only good part of this episode was when that little girl D came up over the ridge and took her mechanical arm out and crushed this bitch Christina's neck just with the might of blackness. <laughs> crush that bitch neck that was the best part of this episode that was the best part of this fucking episode i was just like yes yes we couldn't have did that before christina only knows like a few fucking spells y'all have a book y'all could have like found a spell that teleported her to y'all and tied her to fuck up and binded her and took her blood and then did the other spell on the autumnal equinox and took all the white folks magic from the comfort of your home <laughs> what's the point of having a book that's the only that's the only spell hannah that's the only spell you found that's the only in the whole book because you were scared that's the only spell y'all found in that book to 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 use I don't know. No, I do know. The, the ending was trash. It was trash. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Being someone that works in mental health, knowing the trauma of what domestic violence and childhood abuse can do. Yeah, it feels like we belong together. Yeah, it feels like we're a part of something when you're constantly being abused on a regular basis and then the person that's abusing you makes you feel like you're supposed to be there. All the good times. Oh no, we're in Milan together. I only hit you because, you know, you know, you made me hit you. And so you have to work so that we can keep our relationships together and things and stuff, you know. So, yeah. 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 That's a trauma bond. <laughs> that's not no fucking soul tie. We're tied together by our souls and shit. Fuck that shit. Y'all got me for, see see y'all did this show wrong y'all did this show wrong I did the ending wrong i feel like i did when i saw the 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 last season of game of thrones only as black people so i feel even more disappointed y'all did that and ending wrong y'all was it for suspense was it for plot because it was stupid and i read the article where dude that plays tick was like I, and he understood 
family and sacrifice and uh, no bitch your family that love people that love you aren't going to ask you to sacrifice yourself to that point people that love you aren't going to ask you to die for them Okay. Now that's one thing if your child is walking across the street and a car is coming and you have to run and push your child out the way and you get hit by a car. That's one thing. That's a that's something that you couldn't help to do. But when you're when you're actually asked to die when there were so many other options that y'all could have did, then that's fucking stupid. That's not family. Okay? That's abusive. <laughs> There are so many, if there was like no other option, like, you know, your, your parent is dying of some disease and it'll take your heart to, to save them. So you have to decide, or your child is dying from some disease and it'll take your heart to save them. Then you have to decide like, oh, okay, I have to, there's no other options. There's no other cures. There's nothing else that we can do here. Okay, I'm gonna have to decide to die here or risk my life for this. That's a decision that you make personally because you love this person. This was a decision that was asked of him to do. Like, I would have been like, no, I'm not doing, I'm not, we have a book, so I'm not, I'm just going to not meet up with her, and then we're just going to study the book, like, that's, we don't need to do all this other shim sham shenanigans and shit, because she needs me, and if I'm not there, the spell doesn't happen, so I'm just going to, you know, because even when she cured D, she didn't cure D, so the, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter, I'm not going to meet, that was... <laughs> Lovecraft Country season one episode 10 full circle and I'm just like we came full circle back to being abusive back to being fucked up like is this is that the full circle like Tick basically goes from sacrificing his little child body to be beaten every day to now he has to sacrifice his adult body for this family y'all know it's wrong I don't care what nobody say. You can you can troll me down the bar. You can be mad at me all day. It's wrong. <laughs> Got a whole book of shit that y'all. Could, she needed him. He didn't. They didn't need her. <laughs> she couldn't have done this. So if he just stayed in the garage, put a put a, a put a b- b- blocking spell around the garage, and then spent however long it took to study that book, y'all could have gave black people magic whenever. Y'all didn't have to. This was no. There was no hurry here. Like he, she needed him. He didn't need her. <laughs> there was no rush. There was no hurry. This could have happened whenever. I'm disappointed. But good job, D, for crushing that bitch neck. I hope she goes on. I mean, they left it off in a way where there there could be another season. I hope there's another season and they fix this tragedy that happened. They could bring this motherfucker back to life because it was stupid. You know, and maybe that's just how he wrote the book. Maybe they just wanted to stick to the book and he died in the book. So they're like, we got to stick to the book. That's the main part of the book. So we got to have him die in the show and shit. It's still stupid. Like... <laughs> gonna take all the black pain and and put it into this sci-fi and say you gotta continue the cycle of abuse and I have to be the one to stop the cycle of abuse with my life which is also abusive and now I'm just gonna tell my dad to raise my son better why don't you tell your dad to raise you better (laughs) yes this this was my review I was angry I was upset I felt like this could have happened differently and so I hope you enjoyed this review and if you didn't just pass on by it's okay you don't have to agree with me just pass on it's okay because I'm not gonna be swayed from this okay I don't care if I miss something and they they had to do this today for whatever reason no no they didn't they had a book (laughs) it's like if I have an encyclopedia shit (laughs) There's going to be something in there where I don't have to do this shit that they asked me to do over here. Okay? So I don't care what nobody say. They had a book. That's my answer to all y'all. They, do they have to do this because this, that, that? No. They had a book. They didn't have to do shit. She needed him. They didn't need her. <laughs> she even said that she would figure out an easier way to do it. Easier way to do it. The white folks was trying to find an easy. She just wanted the book. 
She just wanted the book. She even said it. Why she can say she can find an easier way to do it, but the black folks can't. What the f I hope that you all enjoyed this review. <laughs> I am going to go and sit down and just take some deep breaths because I'm I've, I've risen my 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 emotions are rising in a way that is not okay and so you know yes later days <laughs>